Hi everyone. Sorry it's been a while since I last posted a video here. I I'm recently making more TikTok. So for the English version, you can follow me on um so bibish mod. Um I will write on the comments, but I usually talk about portfolio, fashion designing and things like that. And then for in French, the French version, but I talk in that account I talk more about uh, my children's wear brand so bibish so but it's in french but sometimes i can get, give you some information there if you have any questions specifically for fashion or for my brand um please don't hesitate to post a comment or on my tiktok so i can answer you live i don't know lately tiktok has changed my life because tiktok you can just make no need for editing not much editing to do and then that's it Uh, YouTube you need some time you really need some time and there's like a standard for how things look and I'm so embarrassed just putting something out there raw but you know it's been holding me back for a long time I haven't posted um as much as I wanted to because I thought I need to edit I need to edit but you know that will change now because I'm going to try to post okay um let me just talk about um the topic so the topic is finishing your garment because um one thing that i remember when i was um beginning to sew and also in teaching my students well they know how to sew they know how to operate the machine they don't know the step by step process you know of making things which one makes sense first or something like that and it is quite difficult even me i have to think first um so i want to show you with the things that i make um what are those things and then after this part that i'm talking you can you can fast forward to the part where i show you so i'm trying to finish this top uh it's called clary okay and it's closed at, by buttons at the back okay and then um okay the first few things so normally i try to finish from top to bottom so i i put the front and back together so and then the sleeves i'm quite happy with having this raw edge but i know some people they prefer it finished so i will close it i will probably just overlock it and then fold or i just sewing machine foot okay i don't know what it's called but it's supposed to is it this one i think it's this one that's supposed to uh, finish the eh, no no i think it's this one okay sorry i made a mistake okay i think it's this one that's supposed to finish something You know what? I have several. Finish the um, edges like less than I don't know, zero point five centimeter. So that would be cool. Okay, and then, um, what was I saying? Okay, so this one I will finish that, and then we get to the neckline. Either you do an a facing underneath, which is like a similar shape to the neckline but in this case uh, I would do a bias tape. I think in one of my videos I already taught how to do a bias tape. I will try to link it in the comments or in the descri description. Okay, next part that I will finish. Of course, it goes without saying you have to finish the the where you join the pieces together by overlock or by zigzag. So like this overlock like that. Mhm. Mm I haven't adjusted yet my overlock machine for this one okay but anyway i'm happy okay next one is okay so the next one would be to finish the the lower part okay there are several rules to this some people they like to fold this first the closure and then okay so this is this is the back part they like to fold this first okay and then they will fold the uh, here um at the bottom but i don't like it because see it doesn't look so nice it doesn't look so nice like this i prefer that we fold at the bottom first and then here we can we can fold like this so i prefer it to look like this okay so that's just me you know it's up to you how you like things or probably you can overlock this and just fold you know but me i really don't like the look of overlocked things so that's what i would do anyway i hope this helps for me if i'm not sure how to finish something i will get something similar 
and I will look how they finish the things and then I will see, okay, this one overlaps this one. So it means the one underneath is the one they did first and then they overlapped it. So that's how it is. Okay, hope this helps.